everyone i am Ulua Kwelumi Arushai, and in this video i'm going to take us through how you can match queries in power query so what do i mean by that so here i have two tables which are employee details and also state so here in the employee details i have the details of the employee and their salary and also their state id and in this state i have state id and uh, the state of each employee that i have here so what i want to do i want to have the state id the name the salary and also the state of the em em employee here so that i can have all the details just in one table so i'm going to use match queries and as you can see here if you go under the home tab you'll see match queries and append queries so this time i'm going to use match query as you can see in front of um, beside match queries you'll see two tables that is you want to match both of them together so that's what exactly i want to do so match query will help me match both tables together and then i can pick the particular column i want which is the state in the state um table so what i just need to do click on this drop down you'll see two different options i have match queries and also match queries as new so i'll pick match queries as new so what match queries as new you just create another entire new table for me that i have all the um that i have the match information so i'll pick match queries as new and then it's going to bring a dialog box for me so while I wait for that, so yeah, yeah, I have it. So now Marge is saying select tables and matching columns to create a match table. So I need to select columns that are matching between those that that, yeah, that match each other in both in both tables. So as you can see, I power query pick the default one because I'm currently on employee details. So I need to pick the second table, which is state. Then I need to pick the matching column. So as you can see, I have state ID as the matching column. So I just pick it here and I also pick it here. So the next thing we need to look is the joint kind. So the default joint kind is left outer. So if you click on the drop down, we still have many of them here. So left outer I just saying it will pick everything from the first table and the, the second table it will pick the matching rows from there. So also for the right outer, it's just like opposite of left, pick everything from from the second table and also the matching from the first table which is the employee detail so you can also go through this but this time around i'm going to be using left after so i'll click on left after and when you see here you can see the selection matches eight of ten rows from the first table so let's see how this will let's see the result of this when i click on ok when i click on ok yeah now i have it here and uh, entirely new table so because i pick match queries as new so let me just rename this as new employee new employee table here so now i have named that so the next thing i want to do as, you, as i said earlier that i want to have the state id name salary and also the state but here i'm having a result as a table so what i need to do is to expand this table and pick the column that i want on which is state so when i click on this um sign here so you can see here expand i want to expand the table so and then i can pick the state that I, them the column that i want so i will select select all column and then i will pick the state i'm interested in only the state because i already have state id in my table so i pick the state and you will see here use original column name as prefix i don't need to pick this so i then click on ok so when i click on ok i have this so as you can see the employee for each of the states is there for john kogi for jane or your and the like so if you notice for sarah and david we have none null and the reason being if you go to the state table now you can see that we only have states for just eight employee and that's the people with employee um state id one down to eight so that's why we don't have for Sarah and David and that's if you notice we pick for the join we pick the left outer so give me everything from the left and then matching rule from the from the right and that is why we have not for Sarah Sarah and David so that's all out that is all for this video so I've taken us through how to match queries in power query so the last thing I just need to do here is just to give this a name so I can remove the dot one that is in front of this so that is all for this video